Hi, welcome to Salesforce Tech Group. In this session, we are going to discuss about what is CMS Connect, how to connect external CMS to our experience cloud site by using CMS Connect. What is CMS Connect? CMS Connect is a tool for embedding content from a third party CMS to our experience cloud site. By using CMS Connect, we can create a connection between external content management system and our experience cloud site so that we can render headers, footers, banners, blogs, articles and other content on our site pages. For example, if we have content in websites like Adobe Experience Manager, AEM, Drupal, SDL, Sitecore or WordPress, then we can display that content in our experience cloud site by using CMS Connect. Now I am taking one public WordPress site and I want to add the content present in public WordPress site to our experience cloud site by using CMS Connect. First, we will see the content present in public WordPress site. In Google, search for n.blog.wordpress.com. N this is the public WordPress site and this is the content present in this WordPress site. Now I want to add this content to our experience cloud site by using CMS Connect. To add this content to our site, first we have to create the connection. To create connection, go to our org, in quick find search for digital experiences. Click on all sites. Click on workspaces. Click on content management. To create the connection, click on CMS Connect. CMS Connect is available only on sites built on templates like uh, customer service, partner central and lightning bolt solutions. Click on new. Give the connection name. I'm giving blog. Select the CMS source. We can select any of these sources. Now I want to add the content from WordPress site. So I am selecting WordPress. Select the connection type. We can select public or authenticated. If we select authenticated, we have to enter the named credential. To enter the named credential, we have to define the named credential of external CMS site. Now I want to use the public connection. So select public. When we select public, we have to enter the server URL. To get the server URL, in Google search for WordPress public API. Select REST API resources. Go to post methods. Under post section, select get a list of matching posts. Click on this get method. Here we will get the server URL. This is the server URL. Copy up to wordpress.com. And paste in server URL. CMS connections will be of two types, HTML and JSON. If we select HTML, then we have to enter root path. We have to add CSS and uh, we have to add script section. Now I am using JSON. So skip these sections. To add the JSON content, click on add JSON. Give the content type name. I am giving block content. And here we have add content item and add content list. If we want to add only single article, then we have to select add content item. If we want to add group of items with links to individual blog posts, then we have to select add content list. I want to add 
blog post. So I am selecting add content list. Give the content list name. I am giving blog list. And give the path. To give the path, go to developer resources. And we have to copy this URL. From rest, we have to copy. And paste here. We have to remove this one. And remove the server URL also. And we have to enter the node path. Node path means we have to enter the starting node in the list. To get this node path, open this URL. Here, post is the start node path. So we have to copy this post. And we have to paste here. When we add content list, we have to add content items also. Content item represents each item in the list. Click on add content item. Give the content item name. I'm giving blog item and enter the path. This is the path we have. And here I am adding component variable. This component variable indicates the path of an item like ID path and title path. Give the ID path. ID path is ID and title path is title. Next one is language mapping. If our content has multiple languages, then we have to enable language mapping. Once we enable language mapping, we have to add at least one language. Now I am not enabling this one. Click on save. Click on OK. Now the connection is created. This is how we can create JSON connection. Now we will display the WordPress content in our site. To do that, go to Builder. Here I have created one page for adding external CMS that is blog so in pages menu search for blog page to add the content go to components panel here we have cms connect html and cms connect json we are adding json content so i am selecting cms connect json component now we have to select the cms source this is the connection we have added blog content and give the JSON content, content list, blog list. 
and select the content list layout select grid and here we have to change items per page I'm not select i am not changing anything and here we have to configure the content list item layout select card here we have to enter the json expressions for title give at the rate title author give at the rate author slash name published on at the rate date body at the rate content image source at the rate featured underscore image these are all the JSON expressions we can find all these things here here we can select site page or external link I am selecting site page because I have created one page click on save Now the uh, CMS content, external CMS content is added here. Now we will see how the action, uh, how our user can view this content. I have already logged in as user. Before that we have to publish the site. Click on publish. Click on publish. Click on got it. This is the user before adding the content he cannot view anything refresh this page This is how uh, we can add external content to our site. When the user click on read more, he will navigate like this. In this way, we can add external content to our system. These are the references. Please go through those references. Please subscribe to Salesforce Techbook. Thank you.